CYC is a free channel that presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today we are going to start new group of episodes about pornography, questions and answers. If you remember together, we took a whole episodes about addiction, how addiction goes, how is everything concerning that structure, definition of addiction, statistics about addiction and we made several interviews about people who went through this kind of addiction pornography and thank God that they overcome that with the help of our Lord Jesus Christ with the servants with the orientation and the right approach to these people always that with him overcome sin pornography is a sin but how to overcome that? We talked about techniques concerning this, that we need to decrease this amount of watching of pornography to avoid all that. Focus mainly on the workout so that you can spread all this energy in something else and to be busy. And also we talked about uh, overcoming this which is the main issue, how to make good relation with God. Because this kind of good relation with God will support you to overcome that. So again, it's the workout to spread the energy and to be busy always with that. Uh, uh, I mean, with everything. Again, it's this uh, pornography. To be busy with like with work, with reading, with studying, with something else. So it's working out and be busy. And uh, the most important one is, is your spiritual life. How to approach God more and to be in much more relation with God through not just attendance of the church, but just for your personal relation concerning the prayers that heals a lot because with Him we can overcome sin. Now we are going to start with the questions that was, was, uh, was sent to me. I'm going to read what's going on with the cases and I'm going to answer each case because maybe you are watching me right now you personally is an addict with this pornography addiction or you have one of the members of your family who is addict or you want to help one of your friends or for your orientation to avoid being on that track for any reason so for that, I'm going to have the questions and answers in the form of cases. So I'm going to read the cases to you, and then I'm going to uh, address each case individually. Case one, which we will have today in our episode, he said, I am 20, 29 years old. I am male, not married. I see porn secretly. But I am not addict. I do not depend on it. I have severe guilt feeling. Severe guilt feeling. I have bad history concerning talking about sex because nobody was talking to me about sex ever. And when I ask these questions about sexual issues, to my parents before, they consider me a bad guy. And really, Abuna, I am confused about myself. This is the case of today, which is case one. Before I'm going to start with you in this case, I want to tell you something for you who is listening to me, or if your case is the same or around the same case, don't be confused. 
for asking questions about sexual issues, you have to. Because if you don't ask, you will have no answer. Thank God that you didn't reach to the point of being addict. Thank God. And thank God that you recognized your problem, which is, I am on the track of being, of being addict. Like One day I will be, but now I am not because I'm not depending on it. Because according to the definition of addiction, if you remember, that pornography addiction is the dependence on pornography. That, so I cannot function without watching. And excessive watching on daily basis and like hours. That's, what, that's the addiction. So you are not addicts and thank God that you, you recognize the problem that I'm confused. You have the severe guilt feeling, but question one, according to that case, I am confused, Abuna. Don't be confused. Please don't be confused. You are great and you have many, many things great and I'm not just like giving you a compliment I'm just telling you you are great because you are one because you recognize the problem two because you have this guilty feeling that means that God is working with you three because you are asking so you need to learn you want to know what's going on that's number one number two I feel bad for your situation because unfortunately because you have no answers for your questions before you have that kind of fear from porn from sex this is the dark room i don't want to go and i don't want to enter this room your parents put like a curtain between you and this topic you cannot ask and so you can, you will never have answers because there is no questions. Now you are 29 years old, you ask, but after what? You started having the porn. Why? To answer your questions. Unfortunately, you used the wrong source. But why that happened? Again, you are a great person. Coming to that point, believe me, that's great. And if anyone of you watching me did not reach to that point right now, please reach to that point, which is your recognition. Recognize that you have a problem and start asking. You will know. But before, your problem is you ask it questions, you are a bad guy. You are talking in the topic of the bad guys. Actually, now, before I am going to tell you how to address your problem, I want to address the main issue, the main problem. Because the main problem was not in you. The main problem is in your parents. And I'm sorry to say that. Because of they putting you in the dark room. Actually, we have from like the middle school to like messages distractors the first one is sex is everything we cannot function with it from the way how to dress how to show off how to so on so on so the other message is never to talk about sex it's something forbidden. You are bad if you are going to talk about it. Two, like opposite messages, but deliver destructive way of raising up our kids. You have to know, all of you, that the healthy sexuality coming from the respect from one person to another the pleasure comes from recognizing the worth of others and the value of the relationships. So, what's the value of the relationship? From here it comes the pleasure coming out of sex. 
So how to deliver that message as a parent to your kids? That you need to know scientific basis about what's going on for your body. Basically, it's science. You need to know what's going on. Secondly, in a good spiritual way, which is the value of people, the value of the girl is not from her body, it's from her personality. The value of you as a boy is from your personality, not from your body shape. So if you translated the science and the scientific vision about sex, that's number one. And number two, the spiritual value of you as a human being. What's your value? From a spiritual point of view and Christian point of view, that will answer the questions. So how the parents will go through this? To teach your kids, whatever the kid's age is, there is a 4L technique. 4, 4, L technique. Learn, listen, live, love. Again, 4L technique. It's learn, listen, live, love. Learn what? Learn together. Tell your kids that we need to read together something. Something. Let's read this. Let's watch a scientific movie about this. Let's watch. Me and you. Learn together. Not by yourself. By the family. Learn together. And then, listen. Listen to the questions of your kids. They have a lot of questions. What's the question? Actually, I have a funny story about a question coming from my daughter. She was like about four years old or three years old. Three and a half, something like that. And then she was in the living room. And in the living room, we have in, in my house a picture of my marriage. Me and my wife. Then she looked at the picture and then she told me, Baba, look at this picture. I said, yeah. You like it? She said, yes. I like it, but I'm so upset. I said, why? Why are you upset? Because where I am in the picture, why I am not included in the picture? You leave me at my grandmother again, again, and you didn't... Take me to the wedding. So I stop and then, okay, so that's, that's now, that's a question. Okay, I listened to her. And then I told her, okay, so we need to talk about that. Where do you think you were at that time? And then we started talking. She started to ask where I am. Then I started to tell her, you were not there at that time because you came after marriage. Because there is a love between your parents and you are the fruit of this love. Now, we are building this relation of asking and answering. That's the listen. Listen to the questions of your kids to answer them. And for sure, when she gets older, the question's much more sophisticated. Answer. That's your rule. And sometimes the answer is learning together. Let's watch something. Let's ask. I want to read. Then live. What's live? If I believe, if I believe in living the value of people and I believe in their value and the relationship depending on the value, not on sexual issues or not on the shape or the body or so on, so on, so If I believe in that, I will translate that. So live your message. Live your message. Live it. Live in the concept of the value of people, 
always talking to your kids about the value of people. We love this because of the positives in the people around us, not because of their shape. Love unconditionally. When we love our kids, they will feel that this love is out of any condition. Tell your child that I love you. I want to answer all your questions. I want to see you the best of best. You have to know that these four L's will help a lot in the orientation. Again, the four L technique. Learn together. Listen to your kids. Live your message of the value of people. And love unconditionally to them. Now, this is part of the answer of your case. Why? Because your case is existing maybe not for like 29 years old as your age. No, it may be existing for someone in the middle school and the high school. Why? He is asking questions and no answers. So now part of our answering is for the parents. Why are you doing that? I'm giving you the 4L technique so you can avoid your kids to bring another source of information about their questions, which is porn. For you, what are you going to do right now? You need to read. Reading is very healthy. Read about value of people. From Christian point of view. Our Lord loves David, although he made adultery. But he loves him because of his heart. So read about the value of people. We are all sinners. Me and all of you, we are all sinners. We are human beings. We need to repent. That's why we, are, we always said, with him, overcome sin. It's through Jesus Christ, through our Lord, we can overcome sin. But overcoming the sin now is through your spiritual relation with God. Being close contact with God and always work on something, which is, your severe guilty feeling. Remind yourself that if you are going to watch anything, you will have this guilty feeling. Tell yourself, I don't want it. No, I don't want to be guilty. This will be through your relation with God. Improve this, this kind of relation between you and God. So, answering your case because you do not reach to the level of addiction. What to do? Read about value of people, especially the value of women. Our martyrs in the Coptic Church, St. Rebecca, St. Mary, read about the value of women. Because the reading about that value will limit you from looking to them just because of their bodies. No, they have a value. So value people from another perception, away from sex. To answer your beliefs about the value of people. Number two, improve your spiritual relation with God. So the answer for this case again as in summary. Number one, we are addressing parents to avoid their kids from coming to that point of watching pornography as a source of uh, uh, or a compensation uh, for the information which they didn't receive from their parents. Avoid that. How? By the 4L technique. The 4L technique is learn together, listen to your kids, live your message about the value of people, love unconditionally. Number two, how you yourself at that age to avoid being an addict of excessive watching. It's for A and B, two steps. Number one, read a lot about the value of people, especially women. Number two, 
improve your spiritual relation with God. God bless all of you. I'm so happy to be with you in this episode. Looking forward for our next case in our next episode. And always remember, with him, overcome sin. Thank you very much.